Hi, I'm Rick Harsh, and this is my master class in fiction. You can skip this ad in three days. Now, a lot of people, you young writers included, uh, and you young writers, when you succeed and you're, you're to the extent that your novels are published and people talk about you, um, and maybe you become a public figure, uh, people often ask, you know, uh, does the life of the writer really matter when you're examining the books? Does it matter that Kurt Vonnegut was a wonderful, generous human being when you read his book? No. But when you experience Vonnegut outside his books, it matters. Uh, that sort of fraggles the question, um, or is it friggles? Froggles. It, 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 it makes it a little harder to answer. I'm going to give you a, a writer, beloved of many. His name is Alexander Theroux. And he's got this novel called Darkenville's Cat. And uh, it's very hard to read it because there are a lot of big words in it. No, 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 no. That, that, there are a lot of big words in it, but that doesn't make it that much harder to read it. Uh, uh, I mean, we, we've, we've all come across more difficult books than that because we've all come across Finnegan's Wake. And the problem is, is the reason it's hard to read is it's hard to get. Libraries run out of it. Um, used bookstores find it and charge inordinate prices. It's it's scarce. And the way capitalism works, which is a way that uh, the book world should not, is if something's scarce, you can charge more. Well, a fucking beat-up used paperback of Darkenville's Cat is worth 15, 20 bucks. That's it. I wouldn't pay uh, 30 for that book. I don't care how great it's supposed to be, whatever. It's just, if it's brand new, okay, 30 bucks. Fine, fine, fine. It's big, costs a little bit to print, you know. Uh, that's fine. But apparently, it is not in print because Theroux wants a shitload of money. And it, uh, he knows that it's scarce, and he knows people are paying this extraordinary price. And yet... Apparently, he doesn't give a shit. You know, I'm sure that he could get enough money. I mean, he's 80 years old. I don't know uh, if he's... He's not out on the street. I think he's living a family life and, and has a decent property and so on. As far as I know, I think that's the case. So what a dick. Let people read you. You, want, you don't want people to read your book? Why the fuck did you write it? For God's sake, is he mad at all the wrong... He's mad at people. And, and But he's taking it out on the wrong ones. He's taking it out on the ones that love his work and, and may love him for his work, which is what a writer should want. You know, I don't, I don't want you to love me because I took the garbage out last night without my wife asking, okay? I mean, I, I did it on my own, and it was a really nice thing for me to do, but I want you to love me because you love my book. Um, I don't want you to love me because I was so nice to the uh, the woman at the the post office and who I later ran into in the grocery store, an old lady whose phone kept going off and playing horrible music. And you know, any any anybody else, I I probably would have grabbed the phone and said enough, and then thrown it on the. But I didn't do it because she's an old lady, and you know, I'm a nice guy. But that don't be impressed by that. Don't love me for that. Love me for this. Theroux isn't the only great writer who is uh, uh, under-read. Uh, there's also, where is he, Chandler Brossard. Chandler Brossard. Over the Rainbow? Hardly. Well, one book? Hardly. There's a book inside here called Raging Joys, Sublime Violations. And that is going to be published by my press. Um, with Stephen Moore's cooperation, help, and blessing, and the widow of Broussard's blessing, 
we are going to publish that book. Um, and uh, as soon as the status of my press is fixed because the head of the press I'm associated with died, um, they're going to keep going and so on. But this book is going to come out in the pocket form, and you're going to be able to read Brossard for 10 euros. However, Brossard's best books are two giant ones. One is called Wake Up, We're Almost There. 1971 it was published, and, uh, and it's, a, it's a wild one. It's, it's a fantastic book. It's a... I, 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 I've been thinking as I read, how would I describe this? You know, it's, it's very fluid and surreal, and, uh, um, but it's also got, I, I get the kind of excitement I used to get with Henry Miller when I first read him, uh, when I was very young, um, that I might get now if I read Tropic of Cancer for the first time. But it's, he was a kind of considered a proto-beat writer, uh, but there, there, there's just nobody, nobody like him. I've never read anybody quite like him, and it's thrilling. And that's about a 500 some page book. Then the next one he he wrote that was big is this one, uh, as the wolf howls at my door, um, and this is about 500 pages. And uh, the problem is there's no, um, we cannot get the electronic versions of these books. They've been out of print for a long time. And so what we're going to have to do is we have the permission, and what we're going to have to do is take them to the printer here in, in Ljubljana, Slovenia, and they are going to have to take these, my copies, apart and photocopy them to get them into... Um, a uh, um, into the computer, let's just say. Okay, let's not use any technical words like, you know, word file or, or what's that other one where you can't open it, you know, uh, zip file? No, you can unzip that. Uh, the JPG? No, that's a photo. Anyway, uh, PDF, that's it. I think it's PDF, or that might be an ice cream store. I'm not sure. Anyway, they're going to have to take them apart and scan them into the computer and then format them and then print them and so that's going to cost a little bit of extra money but it's also going to cost a little bit of extra money because they're too big for us to fit in our pocket form so it's going to be a few months but uh we are going to give you chandler brossard and while you may find it at a bookstore for 170 euros. I don't know. You may not. I saw one copy of one of his books for over 2,000 pounds. A paperback, a thin one. Fucking nuts, man. So we're going to be selling these for, I think what it's going to be is 22 euros here. And then in the United States, you can get it for the Corona discount of 20 and in the rest of the Americas as well. In uh, Barbados, pay the America, American price. Um, in South America, you pay the American price, because that is America, you know. It doesn't matter what anybody in the United States says. America extends from Canada down to Tierra, Tierra del Fligger, or Fraggle, or whatever it is. And so we're going to be giving you... Chandler Broussard. Yeah. So you can you can love me for that. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you.